Hi all, welcome back to my channel. So today we will see the use of parallel activity. This is not a looping activity as we've seen previously. This is a parallel activity. So whatever you put in this parallel activity, it takes place asynchronously. So the use case could be, suppose if there are multiple pop-ups coming on the screen and any pop-up could come anytime, there is no sequence and there is no definite thing that that pop-up will appear. So in that case, you can use this activity. It will work like this. So to check whether first pop-up exists or not, we'll drag in our element exists. So here we drag in the element exists. It could be a pop-up or it could be anything. Suppose if I see that if the particular folder is opened or not, So I'll take in the selector of this and I'll write folder exists. So this folder exists is a variable for the same that if it exists, that variable would contain true, otherwise false. And we could do the desired activity, could drag in the desired activity over here that if it exists, then we could click on it to close it or likewise. As for now, I'll be adding in a message box because we have to check in the flow to understand when and how to use this activity. So I've done this and you can add in the activities like this. Over here, you will drag in another activity. This could be parallel to. And similarly, you can add in as many activity in this parallel thing you want. So over here, we could do this thing that uh, we'll drag in a right line, we'll induce or uh, introduce a delay so that, you know, to check that when is the delay working. So it, this will, this is just to show you that the whole thing will take place asynchronously, not just this particular sequence, but all the activities inside the sequence would also be asynchronous. And I'll drag in one more right line. So this will be before delay. It's the typo mistake. So let's just ignore it. And this is after delay. And I'll introduce a delay of three seconds, not three minutes. And we'll click on run. So first, what we've got is a message box displaying this parallel tool. Now we click on okay and then we'll see so now this before delay and after delay has been executed and soon this will be executed if so we won't get to know if this is not found we'll not get to know anything because if it is found then we have displayed a message box if it is not found then we haven't displayed anything so it will search for this thing because the default time is 30 seconds so it will wait for 30 seconds okay so over here it's three seconds so it will wait for three seconds for this to appear. If it has appeared, then it'll move on accordingly. So the default time is 30 seconds and you can increase or decrease the time according to your need. Now to this thing, I'll introduce one more sequence and in the debug mode, I'll show you that the same thing is not followed. That is the same sequence is always not followed. It could be any random uh, sequence so if we go in, so see, now first the fourth one is followed and in the fourth one, now it didn't go in the fourth one, instead it jumped on to the second last. Now this, now it will display this and it didn't even display that. So like this is go, it goes and then it displays the message box. Then it will go on to this element exist thing and then it came out. So that's what I want to 
show that inside this sequence also it's not necessary that this would go in sequence that this, this would also happen asynchronously and the whole parallel activity would also happen asynchronously so this is the use of parallel activity that wherever the sequence of the activities does not matter which especially in the case that if a pop-up appears on the screen it could appear and it could not in any time any of the pop-up can appear then in that case you can use in this parallel activity it would be really helpful because it would not wait for anything to any previous activity to happen so you could use this so again it has come over here now you see this folder exists it's showing false but now because it didn't find the folder it is still showing false so it would go into the false state so it, it because this folder exists it's false it would now print this message box which is no folder so like this the parallel activity works so that's all to showcase how to use the parallel activity and in what, what scenarios you could use it so you can add n number of this particular sequence in a one activity and make it work and you could even give in here the condition that when this has to be you know suppose you are doing some operations above that you are having an assign i am telling you for an example which is having a counter value which is being incremented and you have to execute this parallel activity when that counter reaches five so you will add in here keep incrementing the counter and then over here you can add in the condition that when counter is equal to 5 then you will counter is not declared so that's fine because it is declared in the sequence and we'll just increase the scope of the sequence from the sequence to the parallel activity so the scope matters a lot while doing while automating so now if you add in the same the error is gone so you can add in a condition over here that when to use when to execute this particular parallel activity so when this would be true when the counter would be five then this parallel activity would be executed otherwise not so that's all for this video i hope you liked it please don't forget to like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more updates thank you